Let me teach you how to download and install Word Edit for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to download and install Word Edit is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install this mod. Once over here, scroll down to Guide and find Step 1 and click on this little green button that says Curse Forging here. That'll bring you over here. Head over to Files, In, Filter By. Just make sure you put the game version that you want. In this case, it's 1.21. And as you can see, they have available right now the NeoForge and the Fabric version. So we're going to go ahead and click on Download File. And yeah, you're going to need either NeoForge or Fabric to run this mod. So you're going to need one of those mod loaders. In this video, we're going to use Fabric. And while War Edit is downloading, let me let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is a perfect service for you. They offer Java and Bedrock servers. And here it is. You could add mod packs with just a click of a button, over 200 mod packs. This server will be hosted online, so you don't have to port forward your IP address. You don't have to keep your computer on the whole time, so your friends could join at any moment. And you could do all of that in less than five minutes. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting, besides them giving you 25% off and having locations all around the world, so no matter where you are, you'll have a good connection, is that you could access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and still control your console, create your server, modify your server, whatever you want to do, kick people out, whatever you want to do, you could do through your phone with Apex Hosting. Again, use the first link in the description to get that 25% off real quick. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, World Edit just finished downloading, so let's go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop just like so. And just like I was saying before, you're going to need some type of mod loader like Fabric or NeoForge. If you already have Fabric or NeoForge in your Minecraft launcher, just add this mod into your mods folder and you should be good. You already have Fabric or NeoForge again. Add this mod into your mods folder. You're also going to need Fabric API if you're going to use the Fabric version and you should be good. You should be able to play World Edit. But I'm assuming most of you don't have any mod loader. That's why we're going to install Fabric. If you want to install the same mod loader as me, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. In here, scroll down to step one and click Download Fabric Loader here. I'll redirect you over here where you're going to click Download Universal Jar and I'll begin the download immediately for Fabric. Now, another requirement that the World Edit mod has is Fabric API. Without Fabric API, you won't be able to play the World Edit mod in Fabric. So click on the fourth link in the description. I know there's a lot of downloading, but this is the last thing you will need to download most likely. So click on the fourth link in the description once over here. I scroll down to step one, click Download Fabric API here and in here just look for 1.21 the fabric version which all of them should be fabric right so just look for the most recent version that's what i meant and then click on this little three dots click download file and after five seconds your download will begin for the fabric api once you have the fabric api downloaded go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop just like we did with the previous files and now we're almost ready to begin the first thing you want to make sure you do is close your minecraft launcher down here close your minecraft launcher as well as your minecraft game always do that after you have played minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer to create an instance for it, but once you did that, close everything out. And the second thing you want to do now is just install Fabric. We have guides in this channel as well as in our website, but I'm also going to show you how to install Fabric real quick. All you have to do is right click on the installer, click open with and click Java. I'll open the installer for Fabric in a second. As you can see here, just select Java 1.21 and hit install. If you're having any issues to open the installer of Fabric, that might be because you have an outdated Java. Also, by the way, once Fabric finished installing, it's going to let you know in there and you're going to hit OK and you could just close out from the installer. So yeah, if you're having any issues to open the Fabric installer, that's most likely because you have an outdated version of Java. After Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.20.5, you now need Java 21 in your computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java, the programming language that lets you open jar files like the Fabric installer. So yeah, I'm going to leave this guide in the description in case you need to download and install Java 21, because again, it is a requirement for the newest world edit to work. So if you were having any issues earlier trying to install world edit, and maybe that's why you're in this video, most likely you have an outdated Java and installing Java 21 and getting rid of your older Javas will fix that issue. Anyways, let's assume that you were able to open the Fabric installer and install Fabric properly, all you have to do now is delete that file. And if you install Fabric properly, you should see Fabric selected here automatically, as you can see down here. However, we're still going to head over to installations and we're going to make sure that modded is selected. In order for us to see Fabric in here, you're going to have to make sure modded is selected. The reason we need to see Fabric in here is because we're going to go ahead and open this folder in here. If you don't see Fabric in here, you could always click on new installation and make sure that where it says version, you look for Fabric loader. You can name this whatever you want. Like for example, I'm going to name mine Apex Hosting. Just give it whatever name you want, select Fabric Loader, and then click Create, and that will add an instance of Fabric in here. Anyways, once you locate a Fabric in here, hover over it and click on this little folder, which is going to open a folder with a lot of files. Mine open in my other monitor, so let's put it over here. It's going to open a folder with a lot of files, and within this folder, we're now looking for a folder called Mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, my Mods folder is right here. It's an empty folder for me. There's a small chance some of you don't have this Mods folder, so I'm actually going to delete mine. And if you don't have that Mods folder, don't worry. All you have to do is click on New, click on folder and just name this folder mods m-o-d-s you could create the mods folder yourself go ahead and open that folder once you create it and all you have to do now 
is drag and drop the files that we downloaded earlier, like the Fabric API and the World Edit mod into this folder. Go ahead and drag and drop it into there. And with those files in here, all you have to do now is close this folder. Make sure you only have these mods in here and whatever other mod that you want to add, make sure that it is compatible with Fabric 1.21, as well as with the mods that you're already using. Close this folder out, head back into your Minecraft launcher, and now launch the Fabric loader. Now, once the game opens, as you can see, we're here in Fabric because it literally says Fabric down here, and we know that we're in Fabric. Let's go ahead and test out the mod. Let's go ahead and head over to single player and open any of the worlds that you have. Okay, so now that we're in the world, as you can see, we're here inside this world and I'm using this little tool. I'm not really sure how to use a world edit, but I'm going to go ahead and test it. So you want to head over over here to where you type in, in the text in Minecraft. And in here, you're going to put dash dash and you're just going to use the commands however you like. As you can see, I just turned my thing into a brush and I'm pretty sure that I could select from over here and set the first position to like over here and then use some commands to like replace everything um, with like for example diamonds block as you can see i replaced every block in that place or like the locations that i set with diamonds and i'm not an expert using world edit but now you have world edit installed which is what i promised i was going to teach you i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel that's all i ask in return and as always bye bye